Welcome back. Please call 0808-054-2233 if you want to ask any question about the topic that we are discussing this morning. The number is 0808-054-2233. You can also tweet at CTV underscore Mary A. And we were talking about prevention. Yeah, I think what I would strongly say to parents is not to feel as if they have failed, okay. you know, because that, that feeling in itself drives them to either hide, feel embarrassed, and, you know, and so there's really no one way to um, prevent. You know, you can do a lot to prevent, but if it does happen, I mean, still approach it. So, they are, they are, but listen first is one of the ways. So it's not the only way, you know, uh, that you can help to curb um, substance use. Okay, um, I heard about a date rape drug. Okay. You know, people talk about something, they slip in the drink yeah. of the girl, you know, and then she's powerless to yeah. help herself after some minutes mm -hmm. and, you know, all that. Where do they get these things? It's a public, it's a, the drug is called Rufi. That's what the, the street. Do they buy them in the, in the yes, pharmacy? They, yeah, some, some, unfortunately, I mean, these are controlled drugs that shouldn't be bought without prescriptions, but quite a number of um, um, outlets sell those drugs to people for the money, you know. Okay, let me just talk to you, you know, as a father. Okay. What would you tell your daughter to make sure she, I mean, she escapes that kind of fate? Well, um, first of all, I would I would have to do the talk. You see, it's, it's, it's called the talk, you know. Yeah. You, you, just like many other talks, you have to engage them, you know. You don't expect they will just learn it. You, you don't assume. You have to have that talk with them. Then sometimes you also may have to show them pictures. Okay. So I, when, I, when I do adolescent programs on drugs, one of the major things I believe that people learn by seeing pictures. You so know. it sends a stronger message. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you may need to literally take them to a place where you have drug addicts and show them the pictures of people who are there you know the, the, sometimes that that it's like a an aversion therapy something that drives a strong message that if you are going to be like you know what they tell children when they are little if you do this something's going to eat you up or all this yeah. kind of thing so you just show them that kind of picture we have a call coming in hello hello good afternoon good afternoon what's your question yeah my name is uh, Adeboiga. you need to turn down the volume of your tv set Okay, okay. Please, I mean, I can reduce the volume of the set. And go ahead with your question. Okay, okay. I, I just want to find out um, if you, uh, you have a particular hearing. Can you, can you hear me? We can hear, yes. Yeah. If you have a particular hearing and you, you they prescribe some drugs for you from the hospital, and you, you keep on using those drugs, and uh, there is no change. You just you, you, you there is no change in the hymen, and you just keep on using the drugs. Is it a drug abuse? Okay. Is that, is it, uh, Thank you very much, Adi. Let the doctor answer that. You know, one of the definitions, drug abuse has a lot of definitions, but one of the definitions is to use a drug that as that's misuse. Misuse and it's not prescribed. So what Ade is saying is that it was prescribed in the beginning. It's not working. But the the, person the, keeps using the it. proper thing is to go back for a review. Okay. I mean, then the doctor reviews your medication. So it it's it's abuse, yeah, it's but abuse. it might not result in addiction, depending well, on depending what Depending on the drug. Depending now on let's drug. even talk about prescription drug addiction. Okay. Why does that occur? Is it because people people don't take care to really check their patients or the patients misuse the drugs why why does that happen because that's really dangerous yeah well uh, well it also like like many things it happens for various reasons sometimes one of the most abused prescription drugs are painkillers you know so it starts out people are taking it because of pain the ones that have codeine in there exactly you know and and the opioid fact factors you know so they start out like that and then they start taking it not necessarily though interestingly is that with those kind of drugs when you stop them and when you start abusing them you also have a higher higher um a pain um sensitivity okay let's take this this uh, phone call hello hello good afternoon good afternoon what's your question my name is Awaka. i'm calling from Crossula. you need to turn down the volume of your tv set please i've done that we'll do it some more hello Go on. Okay, maybe I need to help you. 
that's much better. What's your question? Okay. Yes, my, my contribution. Okay. Drug problem has become a major problem, health problem in this country. And uh, it calls for a major contribution from the federal government. In the country today, how many drug rehabilitation centers do we have? How well equipped are they? Mm. A lot of people are suffering because of economic situation and breakdown in the family value system. Mm. A lot of people are going into drug abuse. It's high time government wake up to their responsibility before the country explodes. That is just my contribution. Thank you. Thank you, you Abubakar. So, the conditions in the country. Yeah. Can we say that it's increasing the rate of abuse? Yes, yes. You know, when it comes to drug drug use, the it's it's multiple factors, um, hereditary factors, environmental factors can also. And when you talk about environmental factors, you are talking about uh, stressors. So, I mean, poor living condition. You know, the, the drugs become a way of escape, a way something that gives pleasure. People gather. So, Abubakar's um, observation has merit. Oh yes, it does. Yes, it does. And, and like he rightly said, you see, to cope the issue, we have to increase awareness, you know, at even all the way to the secondary school level, because at that level, people are exploring things. But, and p children will actually listen. Let's not have the opinion that they don't listen. They will actually listen if they are well informed. That's the, very the, 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 the problem is that they are, there's no information. So all they are receiving is the information from drug from users. From the dealers and yes, the users. Exactly. Okay. So if they have counter effects, they will be able to say no. They told us otherwise. In fact, they told us you will say these exact words. You know, when somebody already knows that, That's you know, right. they, they will actually differently let's take another phone call hello 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 a lady what's your question good afternoon, good afternoon. okay um please uh, my concern is more about please turn down the volume of your tv set your tv or put it off okay let me turn it off yes now my concern is that you know sometimes we start from the middle to keep the problem instead of going to the root I believe that most young people are the people who suffer from this drug problem. So we can go to secondary school and begin to sensitize them about the dangers of drug abuse. I think it will go a long way okay. to help yeah. us solve the problem. So I don't know what Dr. Debe um, is doing about that, what the okay. organization is doing. You know about that to really, really go to young children and start from. Thank you very much, Upon. We got the point. We got the point. Yeah. And yes, I do have a question, you know, on that. Mm. The statistics keep talking about teenagers, yes. users yeah. becoming younger and younger yeah. by the day. What can be done? First of all, yes, they always talk about the government involvement mm -hmm. and all that, but how about the school authorities? Yes. You know, you know interestingly, for me, it's not, it's not a, it's a society problem. And anybody in the society that shows some form of passion, interest, you know, in that can start up a group and decide to go to schools and tell, you know, and, and talk to the schools. So it's not a doctor's, um, it's a public challenge okay. so anybody NGOs they, they I mean should be encouraged to do that build easier systems to get um, treatments when so needed more awareness less more, use yes one last awareness. thing let's push out some more information there okay there are withdrawal symptoms connected with trying to stop yeah. can you enlighten us on some of those okay now withdrawal symptoms are, are as a result uh, of Sat it's not all drugs that give you withdrawal symptoms, but most, most drugs that are abused give you withdrawal symptoms. Now, uh, it depends on which drug you are using. Let me give a, a simple um, um, way I would just put it out there, is that most times the drugs you use uh, and you abuse, when you try to stop them, the, it's like it will give you the reverse of everything that it normally gives you. Okay. So, for example, a drug that helps you to sleep, for example, so a lot of people abuse sleep, sleeping pills. Okay. So a drug that helps you to sleep, when you try to stop it, you will not be able to sleep. You become very irritable. And some, most of these drugs also are, are associated with mood changes. So when people try to stop these drugs, what they normally experience is a very deep feeling of either anger or depression. 
So these are some of the symptoms that people experience. Do they and feel sometimes like, do they feel suicidal? Yes, sometimes it, 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 it pushes them to that point. And the whole idea is sometimes why people keep going back to the drug is to stop this Those withdrawal, withdrawal symptoms. effect. So the, the message here is that always have a doctor to help you yes. get through. Very the, important. The, Very thank important. you so much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for your calls. Um, Ade, Abubakar, Upon. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I'm Mary Alale Yusuf.